I want you to take the dough, squish the dough in the flour and together and just kind of keep playing with it until it starts to come together in a nice ball. Get some flour on there, get some flour on your hands, squish it together, squish, 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 squish. So just take the bottom and flop it over, kind of squish it so that it becomes smooth and then it's all stuck together. I would peel also any dough I have on my hands off and kind of squish that in, take a little more flour. So after just a few minutes of making sure your dough is prepared so that your dough is all one piece now and really stuck together firmly, so you can work all that flour in if you want. So once you get it, just like a piece of Play-Doh, so it has that texture, that nice, squishy, smooth texture that you have when you make Play-Doh. So, or you play with Play-Doh. Doesn't, you don't have to make it to have that texture. So then, I like to just make it into a round loaf shape and you can make it into a loaf if you would rather, but it bakes very well and it looks really nice if it's kind of like this. So if you make it round like this, it, it bakes all the way around. And one thing I did forget is we need to grab a knife here because we need to score the top of our bread so that it will bake in the center. So what I like to do, and you might as well, is make a cross or an X right down the middle like that. And so then your bread is ready, just that quick, to go into the oven. All you need is something under your wax paper. So we will take our wax paper, pick it up, and place it in this bowl this baking pan. It's a round baking pan and we will be able to place this in the oven and we will wait for our bread to bake. Our bread will take about 40, 